today I'm going to talk about cross-platform native app development and its architecture. Uh, by the way, uh, my name is Oytun Sengel. I'm community manager of Smartface Inc. Uh, is it? Wait a second. Sorry. OK. Now good, right? So, cool. Uh, we're based on Palo Alto in San Francisco and our R&D center in Turkey. Uh, we just write our own IDE uh, and to make you guys uh, all, you know, all JavaScript, right? And you all front end developers to write their own uh, native mobile apps for Android and iOS easily. That's why. I'll show you that, how we done that. First of all, uh, there are lots of questions asking. Uh, there, People asking me that, are you like a phone gap or something? That's why I need to first figure out those apps. Uh, you know, first section of the mobile apps is web-based apps. Probably most of you know that. Just writing your HTML and JavaScript and CSS codes. They're just single code based and desktop and mobile browsers also. Uh, but it depends on the JavaScript engine inside. You know, some Gecko, some WebKit and Chromium, etc. And don't give the mobile end users that they're uh, used to know uh, UI and UX, uh, and also uh, because of their running on the web browser, it's a little bit slow and not fluid, and, but the most important thing is not accessing device APIs. That's why the solution is PhoneGap. Most of probably know that PhoneGap, everything's same with web apps, but PhoneGap put the plugins inside and you're writing those structure, and you're getting, again, single code base and accessing some device APIs, but again, sometimes not fast enough, and UI to UX may not be accepted. That's why, and also we have native apps, which is Objective-C and Java written probably. That's why here is a cross-platform solution. Maybe most of you know or not, but there are some examples for that. that Titanium, we have, we have Xamarin, also we have Smartface App Studio. And I'll show how all these cross-platform tools works. 99% they work same. Let's start with it. Here's our architecture, but here's this architecture, uh, probably most of them. Uh, you know, all the devices, which is Android and iOS devices, comes with the same, uh, not same, comes with the native libraries inside, their own Java and Objective-C written libraries. That's why what we've done, we took WebKit, you know, WebKit 1, and take out the DOM inside and put our core engine. What our core engine doing? You're writing your JavaScript codes and we compile this uh, engine, JavaScript engine for iOS like Apple did it for uh, iOS 7 also. Uh, you're writing your JavaScript codes and we wrote C++ wrappers C++ wrappers and put into core engine and this is looking this is looking for Java and the Objective-C libraries inside the devices and matching your JavaScript codes into that libraries and that's why after that we took all those codes to the C++ pool and after that your JavaScript codes which is maybe you're calling uh, action bar or navigation bar, bar or some labels or some image components, are all components, and we're reading them and matching into native libraries inside the old devices like iOS 6, iOS 7, Android 4.4, 4.3, nothing more. And after that, those libraries working, running on the user interface layer, and we're putting some other extension tools like XLite and others. This is all architecture. That's why the differences between PhoneGap and other web-based solutions, that's why it's cross-platform solutions for we're getting both native APK or IPA for iOS and user interface layer all natively working. Uh, after that, we wrote and what you see is what you get design editor, which I'll show you that and some other stuffs. I'm not going to read those parts. I'm just making a live demo with you. And we'll see how it works. 
I'll explain your architecture while I was live coding, by the way. Okay, here's our studio. You know, making a mobile app is such a uh, disaster while if you're designing your app. Because designing the app is, we thought that 50% app, app development generally. That's why we wrote our own ID. This ID is our own ID written by C++. Only reason to writing the ID is for design editor. I'll show you how it works. Here is our UI component, which we sorted here, UI components, network components, and data components under. Most of the native UI components here listed, and some of them are not listed. Also here, show navigation bar or action bar. Let's show you. If you, these UI components working with drag and drop tools, for example, you just drag image component into the design area, and you can choose the data. For example, let's put one of picture and make it stretch. And you can check it out here. It comes here. Like that way. I'll put text button. Here is button comes. Change the color of the button. Change the name of the button. Add new phones, anchoring effects, etc. Put, for example, switch button here to make that switch button works for something, and put a map view component, for example, here again. We are working for cross-platform, and that's why if your if end user, if customer, downloads this app from App Store, he's going to see uh, Apple Maps. And if you download it from Google Play Store, he's going to see Google Maps. And you don't need to write any single line of code to uh, make it available, just it's working like that. For example, adding add mob component, code reader, and other things here. For example, also adding some pure native components, navigation bar or action bar is also available here. After you're designing app this easily, this is a, what you see is what you get editor. That's why I'll show you that here. For example, I'll make this like this. W what I mean with what you see is what you get design editor. When I put that component here, you can see the coordinates here, weight, height, x, and y coordinates. For example, y coordinates 2.92 ratio. It means it will, it will exactly, you can see that in the device, like 2.92 ratio under the uh, screen. All the devices, all iOS devices, all Android devices gonna work with this design language. Okay, let's see in action. Ah, oh, for example, let's edit here, edit box. Let's a little bit customize this edit box. For example, I just only want to write numbers inside. Okay, here's design finish. Oh, you know, mobile apps designing it page by page and adding new pages and make a connection between them. After that, let's go come back to script editor. This is 100% script editor, which means, as I mentioned you before, uh, we took WebKit and take out the uh, DOM inside or outside. That's why you can do everything with JavaScript in the script editor without DOM. I don't say, uh, I forgot to say about architecture, why we're not using DOM, because we just don't want your CSS or other some uh, custom plugins draw uh, things. Because if you draw things like CSS, like PhoneGap or other solutions, it makes it web application. That's why we don't want to see any web components inside. We just want to see all native user experience. That's why all native components only available. For example, let's write in some JavaScript code. It's too easy for all of us probably. OK, let's change me that this button name. For example, let's make it text button, okay. Page one, I'm in page one, object. My object is text button. My event is sorted here, possible events. On press, for example, I just want to press that button. And our namespace start with pages. Just know that after that, because it's going with dot. 
pages in page one. I want a code text button to show me. Oh, sorry, not text button. Edit box. I want. I want to show what edit box written. Yeah, edit box and text, for example. Okay, let's put in an alert box to see native alert box in the devices, and that's all. When I click on the button, it will show me the edit box text. And also, we wrote some good components to make you write your apps easily. For example, data co network components. You know, we can think any app without uh, JSON or REST or SOAP. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to parse and uh, transfer to components dot those JSONs or RESts. That's why we wrote most of wizards here. For example, using web client, just write here uh, any any standard JSON. Just let's have a write standard JSON here. For example, uh, do you have any JSON or standard JSON? I can test it. Do you remember any of them? No. Okay. If you write here any JSON, I don't. Is it works? I don't know that. Facebook works or not. No. This is not a JSON I was looking. Okay, problem that. First, I will show you that example. After that, I'll show the others. After that point, if you, when you finish your app, just choose the profile, Android or iOS, for example. Let's choose iOS. And click on just single button device emulator when you connect your device. When you connect your device, when it sees the device, for example, my iPod Touch, it transfers my apps, files, sorry, into app. OK. And after that, my app comes here. Uh, as I mentioned, what you exactly seen on the screen, it will be on the uh, device. You see here is the borders, two point. 22, I think, 92. Here is edit box, numbers only can available, and button, and it will show native alert box here, and switch button. For example, we didn't write any code for that. That's all, and also you can get the same thing from uh, Android. And I'll show you one of example also. Open a project. Um, Huh. By the way, uh, we have just one here. Okay. Uh, for example, here we make an example that I'll show you our data set. Sorry. Yes, it feels. Okay, here in one example, I just write my URL, JSON URL. Clicking on next, it will start the query and after that it shows me the parting the parent and child just clicking on the which uh, strings or rows I want to use and after click on that it writes on the table like this and after that point when it writes here to put in one of the label for example just write it like this data start with data dot it shows me the web client turns and after that it's for example, web client ID, when I click on web client ID, it will turn that web client ID here very easily. This is all. Uh, I'm not going to uh, explain more than that, but if you want to, uh, I'm not going to still waste your time with more than that, sorry. Uh, if you want to uh, learn more about it, I have a stand there and I can make you some other good stuff with live demo. Uh, this is a very nice and good tool. And it's also free with community edition. Uh, and most of the cross-platform architectures uh, works like this, like that, as I explain. Good for timing? OK? Yeah, thank you.